What's up? Figurehead Talk Show Episode 3. How you doing today? So, today I'm talking about neglecting your soul. Neglecting your body. Neglecting your mind. So, let me let me let me let me show you ways that you are neglecting yourself. So the first I'm talking about is physical. How many people neglect your physical? You don't work out. You put anything in your body. How you how how many people neglect their mind? You think crazy. You have no control over your emotions. But figurehead might might. How can I control my emotions so I can better myself? So I can stop neglecting myself. How can I build self-love? I have an online course, Happy Thinking. And in that course, it will help you learn to meditate and breathe properly. So you can evolve. As a human, so you can heal your soul, so you can heal all your traumas. I will have many more courses coming soon, but you know, I just dropped my first one. Happy thinking. You know, never neglect your soul. Never neglect your mind. Never neglect your body, because once you neglect your mind and your physical. That's going to put negative energy within your soul. Watch what you put in your body. Watch what you put in your mind. You know? It's like, it's like, what I, I, I'm talking, I, I talked about this in my, uh, in my course. You know, I talked about thoughts. And thoughts. Brains, deep, deep, deep emotions. Because you may think of something that happened to you in your past, and your past it wasn't so positive. And you're thinking about it, and it make you feel uh, an emotion so deep that you may start to feel depressed. But in my course, I explain depression. Depression is nothing but a thought. Because you must think, like I just said, you thought of something that happened to you in the past. You must think before you start to feel. And I talked about this also in my course. It's okay to think, it's okay to feel, but do not let the thought consume your moment. Do not get lost in the thought so deep, you forget where you are. You feel, you really gotta be grateful you can't forget the moment because the moment is all you have. You can't think of the past and replay that over and over in your head about anything, about nothing. You can't think too far into the future. You can't think too far into the past. You must be in the moment right here. You must set goals. You must work on yourself daily. You must be in the moment. And thoughts... Knock people out of the moment. Your thoughts will have will, will, will create jealous thoughts, envious thoughts, hate, anger, depression, anxiety. Anything you can any any emotion, any anything that you can think of, any mental thing you can think of, it will create a thought based off a of thought. Because you must think. Before you feel. And like I said, it's okay to think, but observe. Do not get consumed. You must observe. For an example. For an example, I have I have this phone right here. Say like this a thought in my head. I'm observing it. I'm looking at it. I'm observing it. And then I let it go. No, you must 
observe, look at it, you know, and then let it go. You can't, you cannot hold on to it. You cannot hold on to it because holding on to it is not going to help you. It's only going to bring deep emotions to the surface. And like I said, it's okay to feel deep emotions because actually feeling them deep emotions will help you mature if you observe. And most people don't mature because they don't observe their thoughts. They get consumed. So they become depressed. Down. They start doubting themselves. They start fearing. You cannot fear something that haven't that hasn't happened yet. You must make a moment with faith. Do you know what faith is? In my second course that I will be, you know, broadcasting is going to be talking about faith. Because, you know, that is most definitely needed in this in this beautiful world for y'all beautiful people. Got some coffee right there. Real delicious. That's my second cup, by the way. I ain't never drank two cups, but you know, I'm broadcasting. I'm going. I'm, uh, I'm making a. Uh, this my talk show. Why not drinking a cup? You know. But never neglect your mind. Never neglect your body. Because once you do that, you ne you neglect your soul automatically. You know. And your soul is you. What they don't teach you is you are your soul. You isn't his body. But at the same time, you are his body. You feel what I'm saying? Think about this. If your soul leaves your body, can your body move? Can your body do anything? If Once your soul leaves, Your body is dead, but your soul is still alive. Your soul is like your heart. Your soul is inside of your heart. That's where your soul is located. Because once your heart stops, the body can't move. You are more than this physical body. You are much, much, much more than this physical body. You are much, much, much more than that physical, that, that non-physical, my fault, that non-physical thought that is making you depressed. It's a thought. You cannot touch it. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot actually feel it physically, but you can feel it mentally. And it's the same thing. It's the same thing. I got a thought right here. I'm feeling it. Okay, I'm done. I'm done feeling it. You see how easy it is to just let, let it go physically? It can be that easy too mentally. You just got to practice meditation. And my course, Happy Thinking, will help you get to that point. To just let it go. I promise you. You know, I've been meditating for some years now. I'm 24. I've been meditating for some years, and I'm telling you, man, it's the best thing I ever did. It's like growing up, I I I been through, I been through something when I I went through something when I was five. I'm gonna tell y'all before I end the uh, the episode. So when I was five, my mother died. And when she died, it wasn't any regular, it, it wasn't normal, you know, it, it, it was different. I remember we went to the, we was at the state fair, she thought she was feeling bad, she was feeling bad around that time. And the state fair is around what, like December, I don't know. But December, yeah, it was around December, November, you know. And I remember, she died a month after my birthday. I turned five, went to the skating ring, I remember. She 
she started to feel bad. I remember that night. She started to feel bad. My dad in the room, I the clothes. I was sitting on the bed, on the foot of the bed. You know, I'm a kid, you know, being around my parents. So she walk in the room, say she feel bad. My dad said, we'll get a glass of water. She come back with a glass of water. I'm on the foot of the bed. And imagine this, the foot of the bed is directly in front of the door, you know, the door you walk in and out. So she walk in, she in front of me. All of a sudden, I see everything in slow motion. She falls. I see the cup falls in slow motion. Next thing you know, she on my body, pronounced dead. You know, I know, I know, I knew how my mother, I knew how my mother felt. I knew how her how her uh, physical body felt with a soul, and that night I didn't feel nothing. I felt a empty void, but I also felt her 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 energy. Also, I felt her soul. I'm like feel it till this day. And growing up, growing up, I seen her. I seen her spiritual form. You know, and, and that right there helped me realize we are more than this physical body. I seen your spiritual form. I still see it to this day. You know, you must, you must get in tune with your higher self. You must get in tune with who you really are because you are not your thoughts. You are not your thoughts. You are the thought. You create the thoughts. Do not identify yourself as the thought. Do not identify yourself as depressed, angry. Oh, I got anxiety. No, it's a thought. Control it. It's you. Control it. You don't got to take no pills. Meditate. There we go. There we go right there. That's neat right there. Meditation is the medication. But thank you so much. For tuning in, to episode three, I feel so good today, and I'm gonna feel I'm gonna feel good every day. You know, I hope you feel good, and I have faith. If you if you stick with me, you are gonna feel even more better each time you hear my voice. Each time you hear my message, I just want you to really listen to the full, my full pie, just everything. I want you to understand me that, you know, I'm about love and peace. I don't want no drama. I'm a loving person, you know? That's all I want, love. Most High, send love to everyone looking at me right now through this phone. Send love, open their hearts, send it. Hear their soul. Protect us all. Protect me from all evil. Thank you. Thank you, spirits. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you. We are great together. Nevertheless, Pharaoh, aka Figurehead Mike Mike, we out of here.